Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can create a basic calculator with all the basic numbers and basic signs and with the clear button, as you see here. So, let's get to it. So let's first create the UI. So let's right click UI panel and here let's move the panel with the Alt key to something like this underneath the panel create a empty game object and call this buttons let's with the alt shift make it so it uh, fills out the panel underneath the button let's create a ui button textmas pro i will set the scale or the size to something like 80 and 80. let's make four buttons now on your button, let's add a grid layout group. Set it to fixed column count, and I wish to have it four uh, next to each other. 20 from the left in the padding. Let's say the same for the spacing, 20 and 20. And we will of course need uh, some more here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus, minus, da, da, da. yes, this fits for mine. Now from the top, let's move it down a bit, something like this. Let's make it 190. And on the panel, UI text. And let the bolts move it to the top. Just do something like this, center it. Let's make it black. And let's make it something at 48 so we can see what it says. Now all your buttons change the text so it uh, fits your calculator. So now I have changed the name on all your buttons, on all the buttons here. And now let's create a script. So let's create a new script and call it calculator and open. And here we can remove the start and update. And we will start with public. Not that there. We need to implement the using GM Pro. And then we need the public text Ms. Pro here, and this will be the display text. And then we need a private, oops, private string for our current input. And as a default, we'll just set it to empty. And then we have a private double. And this will be the results. And as default, we'll have 0, 0.0 like this. Then we'll need to create a public void for on button click. And on button click we'll have a we'll need a string and this will be the button value. So and if our button value is equal to equal sign, then we need to calculate the result. Else if button value is equal to clear you can name it as you uh, you would like uh, i will just use the c here for clear and here we will uh, clear the input then we have um, else our uh, current input is equal to the button value sorry plus equal and yeah, that's for this one. Now we need the public void for calculate, calculate results. Calculate result like this. And here we need to use uh, a data table. So result is equal to system dot data. Now, so you convert, convert dot, what, why is it, ah, uh, sorry, to double. And here we will take the new system dot data dot data table. And we will use the comp 
output and this will be the current input and uh, empty here and like this yeah then our current input is equal to the salt dot to string like this and here we're using this data table to calculate the current input this is something built in into unity and here we are calculating the current input that we are creating up here and then we uh, will add it to the result oh i forgot something here we need to say try like this because then it will try to do this and if that is if it didn't work then we should use catch and in the catch we need to say system dot exception so if it didn't work then our current input is equal to error and yeah then we need to update the display here but we haven't implemented that yet we can do that in a second so let's make a private void and call this clear input and after that we will need a private void for update the display like and the display is actually a display dot whoops display text dot text is equal to our current input and update display we actually need to put that several places so we will do that in a second let's first here current input is equal to an empty string our result is equal to zero dot zero and here we need to update the display let's just copy this because we need to update it here we need to update it here we need to update it up here we need to i think that was all current input we did that we have yeah now up here let's calculate the results here we need to clear the input and let me check here i think we have it all now update update current input clear input update yeah that should be everything that you need so let's save this head back now on your panel add your calculator add the text press on all your buttons on the unclick event hit the plus sign drag your panel in the function calculator on button click now choose each of them and right here what should what the number should be in my case this one would be zero next one would be one two three and so on and now when you come to the signs you need to add the sign in here And when you get to the equal, you need to uh, type the equal sign. And at the clear, you need to say C. If you use the same as I did, else you need to type in what you typed in here at the clear input. And the same here as the equal uh, sign. So now let's hit play. Oh, so let's take the text and remove the text here at the beginning. So we play again. So 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 and you can clear it 5 minus 7 so yeah and if you didn't type anything and hit equal then it will give an error remember to clear it yeah that was what I had to show you in uh, this tutorial I really hope it uh, helped you out remember that all my scripts that I'm using for my tutorials can be found on my webpage on gameasitworld.com so if you go to my webpage here and go to the store and down to the C shops here, then you can find most of the scripts that I'm using for my tutorials. So you can go and download all of them. Yeah, again, thank you and see you next time.